Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on how to perform a Mann-Whitney U-test using SPSS. Now, the Mann-Whitney U-test is a non-parametric test. Now, a lot of the statistics we use in counseling research are parametric tests. For example, uh, the ANOVA is a parametric test. And it requires continuous or scale data, uh, for example, interval or ratio data. A non-parametric test allows you to perform similar calculations using ordinal data or a mixture of ordinal and continuous data. So I have here an SPSS data set with some fictitious data. You can see in the, the first variable is ID, and there's uh, 90 participants in this uh, study. And you can see the next variable is group. You have a control group for 45 of the participants and a cognitive behavioral therapy group for the other 45. And then you have a pretest score and a post-test score. So let's assume that this uh, instrument is the same, the pretest and post-test instrument uh, is the same. The scores come from the same instrument and it measures uh, depression and a low score represents uh, less severe symptoms of depression and a high score represents more severe symptoms of depression. And let's assume we want to uh, test if there's a difference between the control group and the CBT group uh, on the pretest and on the post-test using the Mann-Whitney U-test. So go to uh, Analyze and then to Non-Parametric Tests. And there are a few ways to uh, run non-parametrics in SPSS. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, this way first. So this would be a way to run the Mann-Whitney U. You can see down here it's checked off, Mann-Whitney U. And for the test variable list, this is the same as the dependence, right? So that would be pretest and post-test. And of course your grouping variable will be group. And then you can see it has these question marks here in the parentheses, and it's asking you to define the groups. Now I've defined the control group as value 1 and the CBT group as a value of 2. And then of course in options you have a few options. We'll have this descriptive statistics displayed. And click OK. And you can see the descriptives uh, to start with. We have the 90 participants in the pretest and post-test. It gives you the mean, the standard deviation, and the minimum and maximum values. And then you can see the ranks here for the control and CBT for the pretest and the control and CBT for the post test. And you can see there's a little difference here and a, and a greater difference down here with the post test. And then for the test statistic itself, you have the uh, Man Whitney U. We're interested in the significance down here. So for the pretest, there was no statistically significant difference between the control group and the CBT group, but for the post-test, uh, there there was 0 0.012. That's a that represents a statistically significant difference between the control group and the CBT group. In regard to the Man Whitney. U test uh, compared to the Kreskel Wallace test, I want to show you uh, something interesting. The Kreskel Wallace test is the non parametric equivalent of one way ANOVA. Now you remember these values 0.756 and 0.012. I'm going to go back uh, to analyze and non parametric and I'm going to run a Kreskel Wallace H test. And I'm going to set the variables up in the same way and define 
the grouping variable in the same manner. So set up exactly the same, except the Kruskal Wallace H test instead of the Man Whitney U. And you can see that the significance values are identical. Uh, the difference with the Kruskal Wallace test is that it can handle more than two levels of the independent variable. So if I go back here to the uh, data set, you can see I have control and then the CBT and you have 45 in each, 45 participants in each group, but say that you had uh, 30 participants in control and then 30 in CBT and then say uh, down here 30 in uh, like existential therapy, for example, uh, the Kruskal Wallace H test uh, could analyze that data. So now I'm going to show you another method to run the Man Whitney U test. Uh, if you click Analyze and go to Non-Parametric Tests and select Independent Samples, you're going to see this dialog appear that does not look the same as the dialogs uh, typically appear in SPSS. Uh, this Objective tab, uh, skip this and go to Fields. And the test fields, you want to move over the uh, pre-test and post-test. And the group, you want to move that to groups, the groups field. And then move to settings and see the default. You can see it's automatically choose the test, but uh, go ahead and click customize test and select the man Whitney U. And then you can click test options. You can see the significance level set by default at 5%. And we'll leave the missing values uh, set exclude by default. And then you'll click run down here. And you can see the output is also not the same as we're used to seeing in SPSS. So you have the, uh, it states the null hypothesis, the distribution of pretest is the same across the categories of group. And of course, the null hypothesis down here is the distribution of post-test is the same across the categories of group. And you can see the same values appear. It, it's just the way it's displayed is uh, not the same. If you double click this, so you can see here uh, the frequency for CBT and for the control group. Now note this is for the uh, this is for the control group. I have it selected over here. If I selected uh, the CBT group, it would switch. So let's stay with the control group. We can see uh, the frequencies are fairly similar. So this makes sense that the null hypothesis would be retained. And you can see the value of the man Whitney u test statistic, which you'll need for reporting, and of course the significance level. And there's a few other options that you may want to use. Uh, you can see categorical field information, which of course you already know the sample size and the group size. Uh, and then continuous field information is available as well. So if we move to the CBT group, uh, where we're going to reject the null hypothesis because the, significant level, the significance level is below 0.05, and you look at this uh, frequency, you can see that it is quite different. So that would make sense that uh, the two groups are statistically significantly different. Again, here's the test statistic and the significance. And similarly, over here, you can look at the uh, categorical field information and the continuous field information. So that's just a different way of running the same statistic and the outputs uh, much different and the dialog box is also uh, different. I hope you found this video on the Man Whitney U test helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.